Let's see. It covers my nose. It covers my mouth. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it better than the one with the elastic around the ears. <laughs> Miss H, what are you wearing on your face? Oh, hi, Amy. I'm wearing a mask. Sometimes adults and children need to wear masks to protect other people from getting sick. I didn't know that. What does it feel like? Well, here, Amy. Try this one on. Okay. I made a mask for you out of the same material that I made mine out of. Now, it might feel uncomfortable and a little strange at first, but you really do get used to it. Are you ready for me to check it and see if it fits? Oh, it does fit, but we have to cover your nose and your mouth. Perfect. Ooh, okay, but do I have to wear it all day long? No, usually you don't have to wear it if you're in your own house or in your own yard. But if I go out to a store or an appointment, do I have to wear it? Yes, Amy. If you go somewhere with your family and there are other people around, you're going to want to wear your mask. And also, you will need to stand six feet away from people. You see, a mask can protect other people if you cough or if you sneeze. And it will protect you from the other people's germs. But can I still hug my family? Yes, Amy, you can give your family all the hugs all the time. Thank you for the mask, Miss H. Oh, I just remembered something Miss Jill taught me about germs. I sing this song while I wash my hands. She says it makes the germs go away. Do you want to hear it? Sure, Amy, sing it for me. Will you take my mask off? Sure. Here we go. I just untied it. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, that was very smart, Amy. You'll wash those germs right down the drain. And I want you to know that the doctors are working hard to find ways to make the COVID-19 germs go away. When it's gone, I won't have to wear a mask anymore? Amy, you are right. Well, wearing a mask sure is different, but it will be okay. Amy, that is a great attitude to have. Are you ready to sing our Wish You Well song to the kids? Yeah, but can you sing the names of all the kids from the school again? I forget some of them. Sure. All right, let's wave and sing. Hello, Kaylee. Hello, Carter. Hello, Sinai. Hello, Sky. Hello, Tinu. Hello, Navea. Hello, Elias. Hello, Xavier. Hello, Lily. Hello, Leo. Hello, Joris. Hello, John. Hello, Lamari. Hello, Nico. Hello, Zyliana. We are going to wish you well. All right, let's sing our wish you well song. Are you ready, Amy? Yeah. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well. Thanks for singing, Amy. Would you like to stay and listen to the story? Yeah! What's it about today? Well, today I picked The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. You can see The Little Mouse and The Red Ripe Strawberry on the front cover. Here's the back cover. The authors write the words. That was 
Don and Audrey Wood were the authors. The illustrator draws the pictures, and that is Don Wood. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? He has a ladder. Hmm. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Do you think he's heard of him? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Boom, boom, boom. The big hungry bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. He'll find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden, or who is guarding it. Got a big lock on it. Or how it is disguised. Can you tell that's the strawberry and the mouse? There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. Two pieces. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that is one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. That was funny. Did you remember all the different ways that the mouse tried to get the Bear not to find the strawberry. He hit it with some dirt. He locked it up and guarded it. He even disguised it. But whoever was telling the story told him to cut it in half means take it and have two pieces and then the person that was telling the story said share half with me and we'll both eat it up who do you think was telling that story I don't know thank you for listening today and we will see you again another day bye bye